work so hard towards the goals that we're, we think we wanted, right? And like the image you work so hard to shape and the following you work so hard to be there for and protect. You get all the way there and then suddenly you're more unhappy than you've ever been. Here I am teaching people about fear and choosing love over it and all of these things and yet fear is the one thing that's been holding me back for this entire year. And it's, it's, I, it, what's scary to me is my ability to actually fool myself into thinking I'm not afraid, that I'm making these good choices and I keep doing all these things. Sure, I'll do all these Instagram worthy moments, but deep down, I'm just trying to maintain the shell I built. One of the last shoots I did, I was literally on set and the photographer was, he said how bloated I looked and if there's anything I can do about my stomach and I, I gotta tell you, it ripped me to fucking pieces. I was devastated. And I'd already been like cutting food and working out and doing everything crazy to like keep the shell. I, it makes me feel like a fraud that I show up and I'm the person that people expect me to be and that actually makes me feel valuable because they, when they see me happy, I see them happy too. And then therefore we've got a connection, right? And it's real, right? But it's not because the moment that moment ends, I'm on my own. And it was even like, what was it? A few months ago, I was working here in New York and everything's great and everything's good. And I finished a charity event and we did a workout and everything was so awesome. And uh, Marietta, a good friend of mine here said, um, okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going. And what are you doing tonight? You know, it was a great night in New York. It was perfect outside. And I, for the first time, I think I, instead of being fearful and hiding and taking the happy pill, I said, you know, I actually don't have any plans. Like, I'm just by myself. And it was funny, because she looked, she's like, oh. And being supportive was like, well, did, is that on purpose? Like, do you want to be? She's like, I just figured you go to parties on like high rises and have this like special life and somebody, some hot guy in a helicopter picks you up or something. And she actually got to see a whole nother world of mine. And because of the opportunity, we had dinner and it was one of the best New York City nights I've ever had. But then I started to see it interpersonally, especially with dating men. I would be this chameleon to what I thought I needed. If they were a, a huge fan of True Blood, I'm like, that sounds great. Let's do a binge session. And I'm like, what's True Blood? Somebody look up True Blood. I don't know True Blood, uh, but I, I, here I am watching it all day, all night and I can't figure out why that person didn't want to be with me anymore. Because by the way, it wasn't me leaving, right? And that's where it starts to get interesting and you think, oh, it's this guy, he's cheating for these reasons, you're pointing the finger, but again, since I am the problem, I am also the solution. That gets to be me. I get to decide, I get to choose. Some people put alarms on their phone to drink water. I have to remind myself that being me is okay and it's enough.